then Deluxe pulled off its coup. With a $12 million financial arrangement with the Commonwealth Bank, it imported 15 German-made superdeckers worth half a million dollars each. In fact, it was reported that Deluxe invested around $7 million on 15 Cetras and another $7.5 million on 28 single-deck coaches. Most certainly at the time, the German-built Kasbora Cetra vehicles were the pride of the Deluxe fleet. These ultra-modern vehicles were redesigned to cope with Australia's harsh climate. Passenger comfort was included in the redesign when Deluxe had 12 seats removed to allow 30% more legroom than Australian-built coaches. And the seating was superb. Designed by Italian specialists Lazzarini, the seats had movable headrests and a padded fold-away leg support. Each seat was costed out at $1,750 each. Expensive, even by today's standards. The Cetras were fitted with double glazed windows to increase the efficiency of the heating and cooling systems and to provide better sound insulation. Coach captains clamoured to drive the super deckers. However, the company had sensible ground rules. Drivers had to have five years experience and had to be assessed by a check and training coach captain. Consequently, most coach captains thought it was a privilege to be in command. By 1989, Deluxe had 38 Casbora Cetras, with the original 15 being manufactured in Germany and 23 manufactured by Denning in Brisbane.